Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. It's time again for a pocket dump deconstruction. This is where I show you what I'm carrying today. It is Wednesday, May 7th. I'm sorry, Wednesday, May 8th. 2019 and this is what I'm gonna have in my pockets. Oh, I love this carry. I really love this carry. A lot of people who have watched one or two of my videos, they say, well, show us your collection. I literally have my collection one knife at a time um, on the knife of the day playlist. So go check that out. I have, I don't know, close to 500 pocket dump deconstructions on the pocket dump deconstruction playlist. So go check that out as well. So let's talk about it. Well, today is hump day and man, I need a, <laughs> I've needed a shove up the hill and a push over the hump. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm bringing along my Rolex date just um so i feel good you know <laughs> that's what a rolex does especially a, a classic like the day jazz it just goes all right i'm ready for work uh, even if they shake me up in a meeting i'll look cool and sophisticated ah oh, hold on oh i love this romeo and julietta Ugh. It is such a nice short Churchill. Um, Romeo and Juliet are just a wonderful Cuban cigar. If you if you like cigars, grab one. Um, it's just really nice. I'm still on my cigar kick. Let me see. I'm looking to the side where I've put all the boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight packages of the Provida. Um, cigar club, which is unbelievable. The best non-Cuban cigars, some of them unlimited. I got those so I could share them with you. Um, but I've just been dealing with work. So I, I haven't wanted to change. You ever do that? You ever go, you know, people talk about comfort foods and comfort this and comfort clothes. And for me, it's like, I'm not ready for anything super new right now. <laughs> I need some comfort. I need my good Cuban cigars. This is a shown design pen. This is the titanium version. I have got to, and I will, I promise you, it's on a list for me. I have got to buy some shown design pens. They now have, whoops, they now have the clip with them, the pocket clip. So, Right now I have the titanium, the DLC, and the um, brass shown design without the clip. I wouldn't even mind just getting those three with the clip. So you'll probably see new shown designs pretty soon. Yes, these pocket dump deconstructions, I talk about <laughs> what I'm carrying today, but also I ramble a bit. It's kind of my version of a vlog. Um, I, I actually have some scotch in here, but not the blue stuff. All right. The less expensive stuff that still makes me feel good. My thin, one of my thin Mont Blanc wallets. I am, um, I'll probably, well, I don't know. I'm working on, one of my things is to consult and while consulting in my work, getting a van or something and traveling around the country, I've invested in a lot of uh, camera equipment and stuff. Do keep doing these vlogs, but going to local cigar shops, um, going to local restaurants, yeah, vlogging it, talking to you guys about it. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that and picking up some knives along the way and maybe some local swag at the cigar stores, at the local knife stores and, and giving that away and just talking to you guys. 
Look, I'm just playing around with it. I don't know if it'll it'll happen, but it's it's in my thoughts. Let me know if that's something you'd like. I was thinking, you know, you go to a nice restaurant and uh you uh and while I'm around, maybe do a blog or something with some some people on stuff. Maybe visit like a local industry or something. But go to a restaurant. I don't know. This is me. I do it at home. You know, go to a good restaurant, eat some good food, show that to you, and then wake up in the morning in the camper van with leftovers and see how it tastes leftover style. <laughs> um, yeah, my 60th birthday is going to, I'm going to turn 60 in July, on July 20th, so you're... Your mind goes to consulting and traveling and having fun. And uh, I'm getting close to that, by the way. I'm in talks about doing some of this. This is uh, the coin for today. I always carry a one ounce silver coin in my pocket. People think that's crazy, but it's good luck. I collect silver coins. You can see it has that plastic holder on it, so it doesn't get damaged, but it's for good luck. My grandfather always, always carried... Uh, silver dollars in his pocket and remember that was when silver dollars were actually silver in the u.s but this is the 2010 year of the tiger coin they call a flower coin just a real nice coin chinese coin that i collect i have a thing with the lunar year coins and there are so many people doing lunar year coins but I've collected the Chinese lunar year coins going way, way back. We're talking 20, 30 years. If you hear a rumbling, my apartment, they've been drilling and hammering and stuff all day, which is why I'm doing this so late. Yesterday, Monday through Friday, I do a video most days. And usually it's the new knives of the days. I just did Three, my last three videos were three new spiderco knives of the day. And then I do the pocket dump deconstructions. Yesterday we had five false uh, fire alarms. So they kept going off and they're drilling. So I just couldn't do a video. But I wanted to do one today. This is one of my favorite little knives. I have two of them, only two of them. They have long been discontinued. But you see this, and on the secondary market, they go for a lot of money. <laughs> when I bought one of them on the secondary market, I was stunned. But this is the Spydeco Jester. It, it's pretty much like, the size of it is pretty much like a, man, they're getting close with the drilling. I hope you guys can hear it. Um, it's pretty much close to a ladybug. Now this is a special one. They, there are a lot of them with FRN scales and light fiberglass reinforced nylon scales. This is a special one. This one has a gray uh, G10 scales. It was a sprint run with, <laughs> with um, the steel uh, liners as well. And of course a backlock. So it's a little heavier but it's still cool. I love this little blade. It's VG10 steel, VG10 steel, 1.9 inches. The, uh, the edge is 1.7 inches. This is hollow ground, real small knife. The total length is like 4.4 inches. It is pretty much like a ladybug except for that real nice blade. Weighs about 1.4 ounces, but look at this. So, fits nice in the hand for a little knife. I'm using this as my keychain knife today. Jimping on this, and I love this. See that? Way down towards the edge, there's jimping too. So you can kind of really get in there with this real nice kind of a reverse tanto or something. Whenever I name a blade, I always get it wrong and people talk about it, but um, just a real nice, all of the nice little gestures are like that. I like that little touch with the jimping on the edge. Just a real nice knife. This has a little bit of weight on it. 
which I like because of the stainless steel uh, liners. It is a back lock. Some of you really dislike back locks. <laughs> I get it. They're not as easy as compression locks or liner locks or frame locks. I get it, but poor back lock. Of course, I'm using, it has a decent sized lanyard hole. Of course, for me, it is a keychain knife. No clip because of its size, pretty much. Just a real nice, nice knife. I like this one. I like my, I have one in black FRN scales as well. It's the Spydeco Jester, kind of hard to find. And when you do, people overprice them. <laughs> but I have, whenever I see them, um, they are in pretty good condition though, considering. Oh, yes, this is one of my newest finds. Actually, I brought out two of my newest. This is one of the premier knives for this year from um, Spydeco. One of their more expensive ones. It's retailing for about $500 or so. I've been getting two reactions to this knife and seeing two different reactions. One is, man, it's beautiful. Can't wait. Got mine on order. Um, and the other, that's way too much. Both of those are respectable, honest responses. It just depends on what you're used to. Uh, this is the, uh, of course, the Spydeco collaboration with uh, uh, the Python. This is the Spydeco Python, the collaboration with Peter Rosenti. Just a beautiful knife. Right out of the box for me, smooth as silk. Some people have asked me if I've had some lock uh, problems or anything like that. And I haven't on mine. I haven't on mine. Just a real nice, beautiful knife. S90V steel. 3.9 inch blade. The edge is 3.7 inches. The total length is 8.7 inches. 4.4 ounces. It's really rides super thin for me, thinner than I expected in the pocket. It has an integral handle. Now, let me let me just say this: uh, the integral frame. Uh, some people said, you know, that's an integral frame. I know. Others say, you know, those have been around a long time. I know. And again. My style is different than others on YouTube. Please pick and choose yours. A lot of people that watch me are not super collectors. So I wanted to explain that instead of saying integral and use all those words, because I'm sorry, when I started in collecting knives, when I start collecting anything and I'm so hungry for information, and I get on these user sites and people talk like in a cold and it takes me a year to actually learn what things are. That happened with me with knives. I love the people. I love you guys. It's a great community, but everyone is always trying to one up people. I'm simple. I'm not going to change. If, if you really want to know all of that, check out. I watch 30 knife YouTubers who are a lot better than I am in explaining it. What I said, and that's an integral, <laughs> that's integral, it's one piece of titanium that makes this entire thing. Just one piece, which is just wonderful. 3D, which means, you know, it's not a flat piece, comes around and ends with a frame lock, which is also something that's uh, extraordinary to me I know it's been around for a long time just talking about to me um, it does have a stainless steel lock insert that stops it from wearing down uh, steel against titanium against steel like a titanium frame lock against the steel of the blade over time steel wins titanium will wear down and that's why you get inserts so that it doesn't wear down, it's steel against steel. This is so well done. 
Now, great jimping. I think their jimping is just, to me, sometimes you get jimping that's not enough. It's almost like just for design. And then you get jimping that just hurts your fingers. This is a very nice jimping. If you're using it with gloves, you get a good grip, but it also doesn't kill you. It's just a real nice feel. Now, no special clip. And at $500, <laughs> I've had a lot of comments about this. Funny comments, by the way. You know, um, so yes. And my guess is even though $500 to us uh, may seem like a lot of money to Spyderco to get it to 500, they didn't do a custom clip, right? So they save money by using a clip that they usually use. I love where the lanyard hole is. They build it in just really nice at the end piece. This is what I'm carrying. I haven't carried it yet. I want to carry my Pison. Spyderco Pison, collaboration with Peter Rosenti. S90V steel, just smooth right out of the box. Well done. That, with my jester, I feel special. <laughs> I really need it. Of course, I woke up thinking that I was gonna do the Spyderco Drunken again this year i mean these two and a couple of others have really been the headliners in spydeco's collection this year uh, there are still more knives to come and as soon as i get them you know i rush them on the air so you guys can get if not the first look the first second or third look of them this is the drunken just a wonderful collaboration between spydeco and uh, Dmitry Sinkovich, their first collaboration. Just a real nice knife. Um, full flat ground, S90V steel as well. Eight inch, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 3.4 inch blade. Eight inch total, it weighs 3.1 ounces. Carbon fiber and titanium. It's called a drunken because of that pattern. You see the pattern on the titan uh, on the uh, carbon fiber. Did I call that G10? I hope I called it carbon fiber the first time. The carbon fiber, beautiful carbon fiber, and it's also on the titanium. You see that pattern? That's a drunken pattern, and that's why it's called the drunken. The blue pivot, uh, customized in a you know production way not handmade but customized pivot i love the blue anodization of it feels great in the hand backspacer that turns into the lanyard hole titanium with a custom clip for this as well which is great really skeletonized inside to take off that weight. I mean, this is, when you're talking about a pretty big 3.4 inch uh, knife and only at 3.1 ounces, only 3.1 ounces, they do a great job. Even the clip <laughs> is, I'll call it skeletonized. I know that's not what it's called, but even that, you can see it's not a full clip. Just a real good job. It does have a stainless steel insert on the frame lock. Man, I love playing with this on my desk. The new knives this year I've had on my desk longer than I usually do before I put them in their Pelican cases. And man, just having the drunken along with the Pison. Ah, oh, man, that's some quality stuff. I will be, um, I don't know when, maybe around my birthday or something, right before my birthday. You know, I have a collection of hundreds of knives and every now and then I do a trimming. I have four uh, Pelican cases, 1550s and one 1600. And every time I get ready to think about, you know, it starts getting full and I'm gonna have to buy another Pelican case, I trim my collection. I only sell to you guys, part of the Keith Kevin Ken community. So don't forget to subscribe 
Turn on your notifications. It's always a first come, first serve, and it's always just for you guys. I appreciate all of you. You take good care of yourselves. I hope you're enjoying the good weather. I hope you and your families are well. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.